Hey there, and welcome back to another exciting adventure in makeup. On today's episode, I'm going to be doing another unboxing of a order from ColourPop Cosmetics. And in here, I actually have two palettes from the recently released collaboration with Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, I'm going to do a two-part video for this. Um, the first one's going to be the unboxing, and then I'm going to do a tutorial um, showcasing the products. So if you'd like to stick around for that, um, it should be right after this video. So I went ahead and cut it so I wouldn't have to embarrass myself trying to do that on video. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look here. Ugh, I love their packaging. I know that I have mentioned that before, but I just really think that it's charming. Really like it take out the shipping manifest here. Don't need that. Um, they do use a good amount of packaging um, for shipping, which I like because, of course, makeup is relatively fragile. So I'm just going to take this out of here. Ooh, quite squeaky. Open that up a little bit more. You can already see that at least one of these is really bright and exciting, which is usually my um, go-to when I'm doing my makeup. Um, these palettes are a little bit smaller than I thought they were going to be, which is not bad by any means. Um, they are just a little bit smaller than I thought, which I actually do prefer because these are kind of the perfect size if I were to travel <laughs> someday um, or if I was like making an overnight bag. Um, first, we're going to go over the What A Hoot palette. Um, this is Blathers and Celeste. Um, this is described on the website as a warm nude palette, and I just want to talk about the packaging really quickly. I recently watched a video about um, accessibility, excuse me, <clears throat> accessibility in packaging, um, and there's this um, really lovely blind YouTuber um, that does makeup videos, and she um, has a video that talks about the importance of tactile um, sensory objects um, on packaging. So I think I'm going to link that video because I think it's really important and um, just, I don't know, I think it's neat. But I love the um, little bumps on the packaging. I think it's just really cute and I imagine is probably very helpful for people that need that sensory input. And right, we're going to go ahead and slide this bad boy out here. Maybe. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this right there. Oh my goodness, look at that. No way. All right, this is super cute. This is embossed, um, or it's raised, and then the little faces are too, and they're a little bit glossy, so we've got a little bit of a different texture, um, which, again, I just really like kind of different sensory things in general. Um, I think it's charming and of course now that I am a little bit more informed I also understand the importance of it. So I don't know. Again great packaging. Really like it. Um, it is a little smudgy but that's fine. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh my goodness. I love these colors. All right, so starting up here in the top left, we've got Meteor Shower, which is kind of a golden champagne um, glitter. And then to the right, Celestial is like a taupe with a really soft gold shimmer. And then below Meteor Shower, we've got All a Flutter, which absolutely looks like the most attractive copper that I've probably ever seen in a palette. Um, and then at the bottom here, underneath Celestial, in the lower right corner, we have Who with an exclamation mark. And that is a really rich um, chocolatey brown that looks like it has no shimmer um, and is just a really nice matte. So I'm going to go ahead and try these out just on my hands so you can see them. So I'm going to start with Meteor Shower. This is one of their um, like glitter creams, um, so it's um, a little bit of a different texture than I'm used to using, but I really do enjoy the color payout and the way that these stay, because they stay really well. So I think you can see that. Ooh, wow, really gorgeous. Um, again, kind of a champagne 
shimmer there. It looks like it has a little bit of a lightly shimmered and lightly pigmented undertone. And then with the bronze and kind of champagne or gold colored glitter on top. Really love that. Super nice coverage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off really quickly and then move over to Celestial. Ooh, I absolutely love how soft and kind of buttery ColourPop's um, shadows are. I just really like the texture. All right, so pick a little bit of that up with my finger and then do a little swipe right there next to Meteor Shower. Ooh, that has a lot more kind of an orange or kind of a tangerine undertone to it than I realized it did. That is super charming. Love that. And then it looks like the little shimmers that are in there are actually kind of a, uh, you probably can't see it in this, but they look like it's more of a like soft kind of rose gold or pink shimmer in there. I think I said gold initially, which is absolutely wrong. That's really pretty, and I could see that this would blend super well with um, Who or another shadow that's kind of a matte shadow that has a really light um, glitter in it rather than something that's like a shimmer like this one. So next up, we're going to do All a Flutter. Again, such a gorgeous copper. I'm really excited to try this. So soft. Oh my gosh. Really nice payout on that one. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, I absolutely adore this with my skin tone. I have quite a bit of a kind of golden or yellowy, um, sometimes bronze undertone. Um, so the brightness, the pigmentation, how kind of red this um, all a flutter is, adore it and really love that payout. Again, you can blend it really softly and very easily if you want to do a little bit of a more subtle look. Just got to work on them blending. All right, and then the last color on this palette is Who. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of that. This one has no shimmer, no glitter, no shine. It's just a really rich pigmented chocolate. Oh, that is so pretty. I can't wait to use this to do some shadows. Do a little bit of my crease with that one. I love that. The undertone on this is a cooler brown um, and cool colors um, are typically where the shadows lie. Um, so this will be really nice to use on my crease. So I'm going to go ahead and close this beautiful one and I'm going to sit it um, right next to that one, I suppose. I'm going to wipe off my finger really quickly. And then we're going to go to the next one. This is the palette that I was actually most excited for in this collection because of the color palette. It is, um, online it's described as an aqua. Oh, I don't think that's right. No, uh, mint. No, teal. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, on the website, it's described as a teal palette, um, which is just really exciting for me. I can't wait. Um, so this one is Nook Inc. So we've got Tom Nook, of course, and Tinny and Tommy, his littles that are always helping out at the store. Again, there is a lot of nice sensory input from this packaging. The leaves are um, embossed but they have a matte finish, whereas the um, the kiddos here or the characters are not, are very slightly embossed, but have um, that kind of sheen, that slick finish. Ah, uh, I love this. Super cute, love the packaging. All right, let's go ahead and open it up here. Here, I'll try to, oh no, I can't open it upside down. Let's see. Oh, I hate to take it out of the frame, sorry. Sorry, very tight packaging. There we go. Okay. Make sure there's no color on my hand when I open this. Oh, I can already tell it's just gonna be so cute. Right. Oh, this one came out a little more easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that there. So cute. Oh my gosh. All right, and you can see that it is all three of them, I think. Unless this is a copycat. I mean, they're like identical, right? They're twins. Um, anyway, 
This is so cute. I love the little island theme along the bottom. Um, I didn't really talk about that on this one, but it looks like it's just the villages, the houses. Um, oh, a lighthouse. That's super cute. And then on this one, you've got a sailboat and a message in a bottle and a whale. Love that. Again, super nice texture. The backs do tell you um, where each color is in the pan. I forgot to mention that on the other one. But I'm going to go ahead and open this one up because, again, super excited. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness. Look at those colors. All right, these are so nice. Love the pigmentation. Um, it looks like it's a similar setup to the other one. It looks like there's a shimmer and then a, um, a matte shadow that includes a little bit of um, glitter in it. This looks like another shimmer and then this one is absolutely matte. No shimmer, um, no glitter, nothing in that one. So we've got Yes, Yes in the top left corner. Um, which is kind of that minty frosted. We're going to start with that one. Again, don't want to have any color on there from previously. This is not the same um, like gel formula. I think this one is. Yeah, so um, I would have expected them to be in the same place, which is interesting, but totally fine. So I'm actually going to start with CEO because that is that um, glitter gel formula. You can see it has kind of a frosted like cake icing look underneath it on, um, with that like really pale minty green glitter. So I'm going to do that one right up here so you can see that color on there. Ooh, I really like that. It's super subtle in the pigment. It's more of kind of a sage green with a super nice teal finish. Really nice. Love that. And then I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and that one's called CEO. Don't know if I mentioned that. And then I'm going to go to Yes, Yes, which is this really nice kind of mint um, with a nice shimmer. And I'm going to do that one next, right here next to CEO. Oh my goodness. I love how pigmented that is. And look at the shine. It's got a little bit of like a blue iridescence to it almost. I love when the light hits it, how bright it is. This is super nice. This is kind of what I was hoping for in a previous palette that I ordered um, from... Too fast? Ah, I don't remember. Anyway, I was hoping for this like really richly pigmented soft mint, um, but unfortunately the other one, the pigmentation just doesn't show up on my skin anywhere near as well as this does. Love that. All right, and then next, I'm gonna wipe off my finger again. We're gonna go to this really nice, this one is much more of a sage. I said that about this one, but that that's not true. This is a really nice sage green. I love how earthy this one is. I think it will pair well with a ton of different colors and textures. Ooh, look at that. So again, this one looks like it is a matte um, matte finish shadow that has glitter mixed in with it. So I think this is going to be a really pretty finish. Um, this is similar to the finish of... Um, whatever this first one was on this palette. Let's take a look. Do, do, do. Yeah, Celestial. So I feel like these two are just, or these two or those two should be flipped. Anyway, so this is a similar finish and texture um, to Celestial, and this one is called Made in the Shade. Oh my gosh, love it. All right, so we're going to put that back, and then we're going to try this one. Ugh, love that color. Let's see. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. Okay. Definitely like a really deep, rich kind of, like I said, earthy sage ish green. It's got a little bit too much blue to really be a sage. Um, but then the glitter that's in it looks like, let me take a quick peek. It looks to be, um, like a really soft blue, like a really, really baby soft blue glitter. I love the way it complements um, the other shade, which again is Yes, Yes. 
It's not even bad with the shades. We'll get there. We'll get there. So we've already done CEO. Yes, yes. And then Made in the Shade. Again, love this one. And then the last one we have on our um, Nook Ink palette here is called Water Landing. I love this color. It's so tropical. It's such a lush, um, kind of like a jungle green. I absolutely love this. It's going to be really fun to play around with this one mixed with some other shadows. So I'm going to pick that up. Oh, it is so close to the nail color I picked for these videos. Oh my gosh. Is that coordination or what? Love it. Can't wait. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and try that one. Wow. Look at that coverage. For one, look at that coverage. It just covered my cat scratch like entirely. Like you can't even see it anymore. But also look how clean it is. Look how nicely it blends with the color next to it. Oh, I am so excited. I'm so glad I got to grab these palettes. The other two palettes um, were Five Star Island, which had some really nice pinks and lush golds and featured Isabel. So cute. And then the palette that I was second most excited to pick up that I will be grabbing with the restock is um, La Belle, which ha features the La Belle sisters um, and is these really beautiful frosted um, like lavenders. Anyway, thank you for checking out my unboxing video of Nook Ink and What A Who. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a part two video where I do um, looks with these. So check it out and um, thanks for joining. Bye.